You're listening to Catholic Express, the daily podcast for Catholic kids that strives to plant seeds of faith. Welcome back, Sprouts. Today is Tuesday, December 8th, 2020. It is also the Feast of the Immaculate Conception of Mary. Today, we celebrate the fact that Mary, through the power of God, was sinless at her conception and remained sinless her entire life. The doctrine of the Immaculate Conception was only officially declared by the Church in 1854. The Church teaches that Mary is God's most perfect creation, second only to the Incarnation. Also, Mary being sinless and perfect was important because it is Mary who brought Jesus into the world. Remember also, Sprouts, that today is a holy day of obligation, and if at all possible, the Church asks us to go to Holy Mass today. Well, this week on the Catholic Sprouts podcast, we are talking about my personal hero, St. Joseph, the husband of Mary and the loving foster father of Jesus Christ. Yesterday, we learned some facts and stories about St. Joseph, and today we are going to explore just how prayerful St. Joseph was. Although we don't hear a ton about St. Joseph in the gospel, there are two separate times in the gospel when God sends his angel directly to St. Joseph with a message. This alone makes it clear that St. Joseph was prayerful and open to God's message in his life. The first time an angel appeared is shortly after St. Joseph learns that Mary is pregnant. He struggles to believe what Mary tells him, that the child was divinely conceived. He decides to quietly divorce Mary, but even then, he prays to God for guidance. And that guidance comes in a dream. While asleep, an angel of God enters St. Joseph's dream and tells him that indeed the child was conceived through the power of God and that the child would be the Messiah. When he awakes, St. Joseph doesn't question the dream or forget about the message. He gets up, takes Mary into his home, and commits himself to being part of God's plan. Next, God sends an angel to St. Joseph directly after Jesus was born. Herod is determined to kill Jesus, so God's angel warns St. Joseph and directs him to take the Holy Family into Egypt. Once again, St. Joseph obeys immediately. Now, what should we learn about the prayer life of St. Joseph? Well, here's a couple things. First, if we turn to God in prayer, he will hear us and answer us, sometimes in surprising ways. After all, he answered St. Joseph's prayer while he was asleep. Next, when we get an answer from God, we need to respond immediately. St. Joseph could have easily dismissed the dreams, but he didn't. Each time, he got to work and committed himself to the work that God had given him. Finally, God gave St. Joseph the job of protector. He protected Mary and Jesus, and likewise, he continues to protect those who come to him in prayer. So when you feel vulnerable or scared, look to St. Joseph. Tomorrow, we are going to keep talking about St. Joseph. But for today, on the Feast of the Immaculate Conception, I challenge you all to say 10 Hail Marys. Remember that Mary is still our mother in heaven and that she desires to bring us closer today to Jesus. So find a quiet time, say these prayers, and entrust yourself to her care. That's it for Catholic Sprouts today. We'll be back tomorrow, but until then, continue to grow in your faith and truly sprout into the beautiful creation that God created you to be. Thanks for letting me join the podcast this week, Sprouts. I just want to encourage you all to keep going with your Advent devotionals and resolutions. And don't start celebrating Christmas quite yet. Remember, God's people had to wait centuries for the Messiah, so we can wait a few more weeks. And it is oftentimes in periods of waiting that God is able to work on our hearts in the greatest ways. 